Welcome to the 2022 Blossom Time Festival Grand Floral Parade, sponsored by Whirlpool and Lowe's, Anderson Augustino and Keller, Camden's Appliances, Campbell Ford Lincoln Mercury, Crispin Custom Painting, Cornerstone Alliance, Crystal Springs Florist and Garden Center, Figley Landscape, Katrina Jackson Photography, Klein Custom Homes, Lush Lighting, Lions Industries, and St. Joseph Today. Live from St. Joseph, Michigan, here are your anchors, Jennifer Copeland and Abby Wepler. everyone and welcome to the 2022 Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade. I'm Jennifer Copeland alongside WSBT 22 meteorologist Abby Wepler. We're so happy that you could join us today. For the next two hours we will be celebrating alongside Southwest Michigan for the annual Blossom Time Parade. A lot of excitement here today. It's been since 2019 of course due to the pandemic yeah. that we have been able to celebrate this parade. So it's going to be a great day ahead the next two hours. Hopefully you can just sit tight, relax and enjoy all the effort, all the floats, everything. But, of course, we got to keep an eye on this weather. The clouds are here, which are helping, right? It's not too terribly hot. That's right. But there is some rain moving across Lake Michigan. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed. You can see right here on our live storm tracker radar, it's just been slowly making that eastward progression. So, again, something we're keeping our eye on. But we're going to keep going. Everybody's staying positive, and we're going to bring you a great parade. That is the one thing. They do not cancel this parade. It is rain or shine. They've only canceled it truly twice ever, the pandemic and World War II. So that is a testament to the tradition here. This year's theme for the festival is The Greatest Show. Each entry must reflect the theme by representing the circus act chosen by each community. It's a terrific theme, loads of possibilities for float designs and decorations, and it looks like this is going to be another fantastic year. It's a 116-year-old festival. We have marching bands, musical units, 22 different beautifully decorated floats. We're talking antique cars, trucks, fire trucks, of course, all the costume characters, clowns, so much more to anticipate today. So it's going to be a really great day. We're it, excited. It really is. And of course, all the beautiful queens, right? Yes. Representing the 21 communities that make Michigan's oldest and largest multi-community festival. Now, with a total of 106 units, and we heard before the parades even kicked off that these floats this year they're going to be something fantastic. So in addition to the Blossom Time Grand Flora Parade, it promises to be a fitting conclusion for the 116th celebration of, of course, the Blossom Time Festival in Southwest Michigan. That's right. These communities of Benton Harbor and St. Joseph act as hosts for the event. And they take turns being the leader of the grand finale of the parade, switching back and forth each year. This year, the St. Joseph Marching Bears float and mayor take the lead in the parade. And then the Benton Harbor Marching Tigers float and mayor will comprise of the grand finale of the parade. That's right. And while we're waiting for the parade, of course, to kind of make its way here, we're going to go into a commercial break, but don't go anywhere. The parade begins in just a few minutes. You're watching the Blossom Time Grand Flora Parade on WSBT 22. From new home construction to additions and remodeling, Klein Custom Homes can help you build your dream. Choose from one of our thoughtfully designed floor plans that can be customized for your specific needs. Or show us your plan and we can help you add the unique touches that will make your home extra special. We use only top-grade premium materials like hardwood floors, granite counters, and ceramic tile to craft affordable, quality, and efficient homes. Klein Custom Homes, building dreams throughout northern Indiana and southwest Michigan. Start your career at Lions Industries in Duwajek. Imagine working for a family-owned, family-oriented company, one that's on the cutting edge of robotics and automation. For 50 years, Lions Industries has been producing bathtubs and showers for major retail and wholesale across the U.S. and Canada. So if you're an energetic team player interested in long-term growth, get more for your time. Competitive starting wages, affordable health benefits, profit sharing, and paid holidays. Visit lionsindustries.com and submit your application online today. For 75 years, Crystal Springs Florist and Garden Center in Benton Harbor has been making Southwest Michigan beautiful. They're proud to be a third-generation family-owned and operated business. Ordering fresh flowers for someone special? Their expert staff will help you find exactly what you are looking for. Growing your own flowers? Visit Crystal Springs Garden Center. Their greenhouse is fully stocked with annuals, perennials, herbs, vegetables, and more. Crystal Springs Florist and Garden Center, 1475 Pipestone Road in Benton Harbor. 
Now you can explore St. Joe and Benton Harbor all summer long with free water taxi rides every weekend. Starting May 26th, just in time for the KitchenAid SPGA Championship. Hop on the St. Joe River Water Taxi and visit a wide variety of shops, restaurants, and more. Looking to board? Simply visit the website, choose one of four pickup locations, and select a future time to set sail on the water taxi. This summer, explore the shore with free water taxi rides every weekend. You've never seen Michigan's Twin Cities like this. Things could be stranger, but I don't know how. I'm going through changes now. Could spend a lifetime trying to figure it out. I'm going through changes now that have just begun. Many reasons we are what we've become. I'm going to change this now. Things could be different, but I don't know how. Parade on WSBT 22. You know, each year over 20 different communities take part in what happens here in Southwest Michigan for this festival. It is amazing, and we always talk about the Queens for this festival. Yes. It is just such an undertaking. The Blossom Time pageant crowned the 2022 King and Queen for this, along with their court. Lillian Wagner, Miss Buchanan, was crowned at the pageant on April 25th. And the candidates are judged on poise, interviewing skills, community service, and communications, as well as stage presence and personality. The Blossom Time Court will participate in several different events and activities throughout spring, including their Goodwill Tour. Yes, and these, I mean, they give it their all. And this past week, actually, the Blossom Time Court, made up of all the Blossom Time pageant winners, went on a three-day Goodwill tour. It was a lot of fun on Monday at our WSBT 22 studios as they actually came in and got to learn a little bit about TV. So they came in during the noon newscast. I got to meet them. They asked great questions. They got to do a lot of fun things. Um, but yeah, they then toured through 22 communities involved in the Blossom Time Festival, reading at the elementary schools, and sharing lunch with seniors at community centers. They did, and it was a lot of fun because we get to see them, and they get to have that behind-the-scenes mm -hmm look at things and we get to actually see a lot of what's going on there. You can hear the parade as it makes its way through and the route is is about two miles. It starts at the corner of Main and Pearl Streets in St. Joseph, Michigan and then it turns right onto Ship Street where the participants roll right past the judges viewing stand and our television cameras. And you know the parade is about to begin when you see and hear those sirens. Everybody's waving the excitement's happening. Flashing lights of the law enforcement units, of course. The first group of squad cars is from the St. Joseph, is from the city of St. Joseph, the city of Benton Harbor, and Benton Harbor Charter Township. And this is where it is official. You see the kickoff here. Everybody excited. You see some of the kids waving. In St. Joseph, the St. Joseph car leads the way here. Then in Benton Harbor, the Benton Harbor car will take the lead. The Benton Harbor Charter Township car is what they call the Communications Parade Pace car for the drill team. And Blossom Time has always enjoyed the full cooperation of the many law enforcement units throughout the Blossom Time Festival events. And they are especially proud to salute the local agencies by including them in the Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade. You have to remember, this has been a two-year hiatus. So it's been since 2019 that anybody has been able to take the sidelines here and watch this event happen. And so we're really seeing a great turnout, too, for this event. And just behind them, if you take a look here, mm -hmm. you're starting to see the first sign that the parade is truly underway here. When you hear and you see the Indianapolis Police Motorcycle Drill Team, you hear the sounds. They're, they're very distinctive, right? <laughs> those Harley motorcycle engines and those red and blue strobes flashing. 
that is the sure crowd pleaser here in St. Joseph, Michigan today. I mean, so impressive to watch. Now, this will be the 57th year that the famed Indy Motorcycle Drill Team has led the Grand Floral Parade throughout the host of communities of St. Joseph and Benton Harbor. Originating in 1954, Lieutenant Omi Lloyd of the Indianapolis Police Department Motorcycle Unit formed a group of seven officers to ride their police motorcycles in several American Legion events. The reason for seven was to spell Indiana on the windshields using large plastic letters. After seeing the first year, other officers, all the American Legion veterans, look at them go. I mean, what, what skill this takes, right? Well, they wanted to join the team as well. Why not? It looks like a lot of fun. So in 1955, the team increased to 12 riders, enough to, you guessed it, spell Indianapolis. I can't imagine the coordination and the skill that it takes <laughs> to do what they're doing out there. Absolutely. In front of a crowd that's literally inches from them at times. It's, and it's, silent because of what they're doing. And it's just, it, it's breathtaking to watch what they're doing here. Today's team members, by the way, are full-time police officers who perform with the same motorcycles that they use for their daily patrol and traffic enforcement. So they're very used to the vehicles that they're on. <laughs> they travel across the country performing in parades, by the way. They do this at schools. They do it for children's hospitals, nursing homes, and so many other worthy events. This drill team has performed in several presidential inaugural parades, too. Wow. They've done this for the Indianapolis 500 parade, the Orange Fiesta Holiday Bowls, the Kentucky Derby. We're talking countless Florida festivals and more than 30 American Legion National Convention parades. And that's why you can tell they are grabbing everybody's attention yes. as they make their way down Ship Street. Now, in 1963, Bob Ramsey, a young businessman in Benton Harbor, Michigan, secured an invitation to the drill team to participate, of course, in this Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade. Through their Blossom Time relationship with the drill team, the late Bob and Helen Ramsey, former parade chairman and his wife who sponsored the team's appearances in the Grand Floral Parade since 1964 developed of course many lasting friendships in the Indianapolis area. Isn't it impressive? Yes and to think that you know this is a big Southwest Michigan event but hey come on up Indiana we love to have you too and it's it's great that there's you know close to the very front of this whole thing kicking off. Yes. The current team of 17 officers continues this tradition in 2022. All the members of this team have been led by Sergeant Chad Dickinson. He's a drill master and have commented that they truly love coming to the Blossom Time Festival. And how could you not? I mean, this is such an amazing festival with so much tradition. They're going to do this salute here, and we're just going to be able to watch here and take a moment so we can just watch the sights and sounds here. So let's watch. with what they're doing here. So this is perhaps one of the most impressive parts to what they do. And this is the part where kids just watch in awe. <laughs> and, and adults. Yes, for sure. And everybody knows it's about to happen. That's right. It's getting louder in here. <laughs> Sometimes they stand for a trick, and today they did not. 
So impressive, though. And we thank them for what they do. Yes. All right. Well, Whirlpool Corporation and Lowe's are once again the generous sponsors of this 116th celebration of Southwest Michigan's premier event, the Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade. The Blossom Time Festival and all 21 of its participating communities wish to thank these community-spirited businesses for making the 2022 Grand Floral Parade possible. We should also thank, of course, the St. Joseph Varsity Sideline Cheer Team and the St. Joseph Football Team who are carrying all the parade banners today. Earlier today, we spoke with Sam Abdelnauer. He is with Whirlpool. Here's what he had to say. You know, I think it's a commitment of not just the festival, but the community. And, and you know, you think about it, uh, to see your children uh, participate, whether it's in the pageants or in, in the parade or in, in the area of community service, which the festival promotes, um, it makes families excited mm -hmm. to be a part of it. And we're back here with the Grand Marshal, Colonel Don Allsbro. He grew up in Plymouth, Michigan, graduating from Western Michigan University in 1963. He served in U.S. Army, serving two tours of duty in Vietnam, and he remained in the Medical Corps Reserves through 1972. Beyond his military service, Don worked as an associate professor at Lake Michigan College, where he was an athletic director and taught physical education. He developed the health and weight loss program Dump Your Plump, and in 1994, he retired from Lake Michigan College. In the early 2000s, Don formed Lest We Forget in 2006 with the mission to educate our community and especially our youth that the freedoms we have are because of our military. He's very passionate about getting veterans to tell their stories. And he says that when a veteran dies without telling his or her story, it's like a library burns. Riding in a very cool car, too. The organization has written five books with local veteran stories, as well as putting on mock war invasions each summer. And representing the Berrien County Sheriff's Department are Sheriff Paul Bailey and retired Sheriff Nick Jewell, riding in this awesome 1966 Plymouth Fury and Berrien County Squad Car number 30, owned and restored by Berrien County Deputy Sheriff Bill Octoberg. All of the equipment, the lights, the sirens, the radio. I mean, how cool is this thing? The shotgun rack and the decals are period correct. This car is a tribute to law enforcement, both past and present. That is a sight to see coming down the street, that's for sure. Yeah, that is very cool. I like seeing that. Look at all the people just taking on in what we see coming down the road. That is not something that you see every day. Oh, no. So to see it in the parade today, right? very cool. Yes. I love that. And it's a nice thing to be able to, to pay honor to those who are out there on our streets. For sure. Us safe today. All right. We also have the Berrien County Sheriff's Honor Guard just behind them, as you see. Presenting colors today is Sergeant Kevin Holt and the members of the Berrien County Sheriff's Honor Guard. A long-standing tradition of the Grand Floral Parade and always an impressive sight to be able to see what they do, too. And the weather has really been holding out for us, so I'm really happy about I that. I know. Where where are we in this? Uh, 118. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I know. Right? Let's, let's keep it going. <laughs> the clouds have actually been great. Yes. So hopefully we can keep this Keeping up. everybody cool as they're going down the streets. Too. Yes. This year, Board of Directors President Anna Abdelnauer presented the 2020 awards to Travis Warden. 13 years ago, Travis ran for Mr. Blossom Time, representing the community of Bridgman. And because of the experience and the relationships that he created that year, he has now been volunteering for the festival for eight years. Travis is the type of volunteer that every organization can only dream of. He is a person that you can always count on. Any task that is asked of him, he always says, yes, no problem, with a smile on his face. We need good volunteers in our community yes. like that. It's what keeps them going. It's what makes them special. That's right. We have a special guest with us today. Maddox Williams is with us. He is a 15-year-old freshman at St. Joseph High School, and he is battling osteosarcoma. He was diagnosed in February and would like to thank the community for their support and, of course, their kindness every step of the way. He's fighting to be cancer-free, and he's looking to a future of paying it forward to this very amazing community. He's riding with his freshman basketball coach, St. Joseph Department of Public Safety Officer Snyder Jean. So... 
we give a big shout out to our special guest today, Maddox Williams, and everyone in the community for being such a wonderful support to him. And uh, the cheers that yes. you heard when when his car came down. I yeah, mean, everybody's so excited that he had a chance to come out here. Yeah. The Berrien County Sheriff's Mounted Division was organized in 1948 and is one of the oldest volunteer units in the state of Michigan. For 74 years, members of the units have given their name to the betterment of Berrien County. The Mounted Unit consists of 12 volunteers that cover many events, donating many hours in support of community events and unit training. The unit has been used for crowd control, search and rescue efforts in rugged terrain, and public functions where people in the community feel more comfortable when law enforcement officers are in an elevated view. The Mounted Division is led by Captain Joanne Ertman and as always considers it an honor to be invited to participate in the Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade each year. It's always nice to see the horses. <laughs> I know. It, All the kids love it. Yes. They always think, Maybe, you know what, I think I want to be a police officer like that. Exactly. So fun. Joseph High School Marching Band, 115 members strong and is led by four drum majors. Sounding very good too, this band has won multiple Division I ratings at festivals and we will be performing in Spain this summer, so that's quite an honor. The St. Joseph High School Marching Band is directed today by Joshua Doe. We want to sit back and enjoy this, right? The Absolutely. beloved St. Joseph fight song and they are also performing Lady Gaga's best hits, so let's take a listen as they roll past us. That, they, that they're wearing, and it's got to be good for them. Just a reminder for you, it is a Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade tradition that the host city's high school bands take turns being first and last in the parade this year. Each year they do that. So this St. Joseph Marching Band builds up the parade energy, and the way they do this is, is that they alternate. So you see St. Joseph leading, you'll see Benton Harbor being the finale. Which it's just awesome to yeah, see. That they like, take turns and work together like that. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, we went from the first marching band to now the first float of the parade. And this one features royalty. The 2022 Blossom Time Festival royalty, that is. And you will watch as you see Miss and Mr. Blossom Time Courts waving to the crowds. Yes. This is what every... Here they are. They look <laughs> wonderful. 
That float is wonderful. Of course, riding atop the float today is 2022 Miss Blossom Time, Lillian Wagner from the community of Buchanan and the 89th Blossom Time Queen to have earned this title. She is, of course, joined by her court of honor. We have heard that these floats and these people are amazing. So there we go. We actually talked to Lillian earlier this week. She has a wonderful heart and listen to her future plans. I choose to go into special education because two years ago I met these two little girls with Joe Bear syndrome, which is a special needs, and I became their nanny, and I spent every single day with them, working with them, and I just grew to love them, grew to love their hearts. Fantastic career path she's trying to take. Now, the festival is proud to offer many scholarship awards, helping these young people achieve their academic and career goals and i mean they just look fantastic up there everybody's so excited to see them moving through yeah they work so hard to get here too so everybody does look wonderful and that's just fantastic so all right well joining the ladies of blossom time is mr blossom time nathan hawks from the community of stevensville he is the first high school junior to become mr blossom time very busy guy he's a drum major in high school band plus he has his own landscaping business working on new construction projects so congratulations to him as well and following this beautiful float today are crystal and brandon wagner of course lillian's parents parents of miss blossom time parents watching today know just how much you sacrifice to help your children reach their goals right whatever it may be you're right there behind them you put in the hours with them and today is an opportunity for these proud parents to share in their teenagers success of course, they have some proud smiles yes. as they make their way down the street. But yeah, you know, it's not just the kids. You got to have that support. And it's so great that the parents are getting a chance to be recognized as well. Absolutely. And we have the parents of Mr. Blossom Time here as well. Angela and Brent Hawks are the proud parents of Mr. Blossom Time, Nathan Hawks. Nate is the 25th Mr. Blossom Time to be crowned. What an honor for his parents to ride in the parade today, too, to celebrate their son's commitment to his community and the Blossom Time Festival. And to know they have a son who's worked so hard, too. I mean, he has his own business. <laughs> wow. Just and as a junior. That's so fantastic. Yeah. So they also have worked very hard, I'm sure, to get such a successful son um, who's here as well. This next float is the Chairman's Award. And so there you see this one coming down. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, St. Joseph Royalty welcomes you to the greatest show on earth. In the ring on your right, we have our famous cannonball launch. Without the human, of course. We can't do that. That's right. In the ring on your left, enjoy the antics of Sammy the Seal. And now please turn your attention to the center ring while we bring you none other than your very own St. Joseph Spinning Bear. And so coming up, we have more floats, more bands, a lot more to see here. You are watching the Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade on WSBT 22. In our law practice, we have the pleasure of working with artisans, plumbers, electricians, carpenters, and other professionals. Learning a trade, mastering a craft, perfecting a skill, obtaining a professional degree are all educational experiences. Working in a trade allowed me to pay for my college and my law school. Our community is blessed with an abundance of educational and vocational opportunities. All of us at Anderson, Augustino, and Keller want you to know whatever honest living you're pursuing, you have our respect. Selection, service, and trust. That's what makes Campbell Ford Lincoln your choice for more than 35 years. Winner of the 2019 Consumer Satisfaction Award. You'll find a vast selection of the latest Ford trucks, cars, and SUVs. Luxury customers enjoy personalized service when shopping the full line of Lincoln vehicles. And for any budget, choose from many used and certified pre-owned vehicles. Conveniently located in Niles and serving all of Michiana. Visit us online and come see us at Campbell Ford Lincoln. The best bottom line is at the state line. 
Your patio is beautiful. Who created this amazing design? Fagley. Your swimming pool is absolutely gorgeous. We call Fagley. John, your fire pit and outdoor kitchen are fantastic. Who did the installation? Fagley. Fagley Landscape. Many questions, always the same answer. Fagley Landscape. Bringing you personalized designs and old world craftsmanship for retaining walls, brick patios, swimming pools, outdoor kitchens, and water features. Make the most of your outdoor living space and call the certified Unilock installers at Fagley Landscape today. I feel like like her heartbeat is like same speed as mine and I think we have this like deep connection this heart connection in her heart that there's there's room for me and mom when I'm holding her it makes me feel calmer it's a sensory thing it's a thing with Asperger's she's really good with Anya I've seen adults react to my daughter when she has meltdowns, like she's from a different planet. And this little animal just sat next to my child and was just like, you know, it's going to be cool. She's my superhero. Good job, baby cat. When we adopted Lucky, we discovered all the wonderful things that make her unique. Lucky's a little bit of a lot of things, but mostly she's pure love. Time Grand Festival, Grand Floral uh, Parade, and there you see Laura Goose, the mayor of St. Joseph. She graduated from Michigan State University with a bachelor's degree in employment relations. She has more than 25 years of experience in human resources, and she held a leadership role in organizational change management, HR business partnership, talent acquisition, and organizational effectiveness. Her current role is Senior Director Operational Excellence for Radstan Sourcewage. She also has been very active in the community through local nonprofits and government. And of course, behind her is the mayor of Benton Harbor, Marcus Mohammed. Mohammed is a DePaul graduate. He was elected Mayor Benton Harbor in November of 2015. The mayor was a former men's basketball guard known as Marcus Singer during his college years. Now he returned to Benton Harbor to speak to teach special education and coach basketball. He was elected city commissioner in 2009, became mayor pro temp of Benton Harbor from 2010 to 2012, and he was inaugurated to his current mayoral post in December of 2015. Mayor Muhammad in the great city of Benton Harbor is delighted to co-host this annual family event in Southwest Michigan and says, welcome to Blossom Time. All right, 1930 Model A Ford that is owned by Michael Smith. I love seeing these antique cars. This is so cool. This mo this Ford Model A was the Ford Motor Company's second market success. It replaced the Venerable T, which had been produced for 18 years. It was first produced on October 20th, 1927, but not really introduced until December 2nd. This new model was designed in 1928 and was available in four standard colors. There you see green, gorgeous. This vehicle was also sold in Europe, but it was replaced by locally built cars, such as the Ford Model Y. And now we have Leo the Lion in the Lions Cub District and John Pastelli, of course, sponsored by the Lions Club of St. Joseph. John is the principal attorney at Pastelli and Pastelli Law Firm in Coloma. He is past president of the St. Joseph Lions Club and will assume the role of District 11 B2 of the Lions Club in July. Oh, everybody is excited to see Leo right now. We hear the kids yelling. Gary Callender is driving the 1928 Chevy farm truck. Yeah. All right. And just behind them, we are starting to hear and see our second band here. The Hartford High School marching band, Stepping High. And we're going to take a listen.
King and Sweepstakes Award. And of course, it's a celebration is what they've been saying. You can start your adventure with the marching band featuring a seal playing five different horns and a seal crashing their cymbals. After the musical entertainment, there will be concession stands offering popcorn, cotton candy, and snow cones. And of course, you can draw your attention to the center ring where the largest seal is spinning a ball on its nose with a monkey balancing on top, twirling an umbrella. Of course, this is brought by the Hartford Express train. Look at everybody looking so great on that float right now, right? And a lot of work went into a that float. A lot of work. Wow. All right. Well, completing the four-star spectacle, we present an acrobatic seal spinning on our ring in front of the Circus Midway. For the finale, we will have a popcorn machine popping away. Look at that detail. I can't imagine how long it took them to build this float. Right. And there's even circus music as the Hartford royalty waves to the crowd. They look fantastic. Their float looks fantastic. What a great job they have done. It's time to celebrate, right? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Lots of applause as they go by. You just wonder how many hours were put into this. Oh, that's incredible. Lest We Forget was an organization in 2006. Their motto is, we brighten the future by illuminating the past. This organization is open to veterans and patriots. Their June 18th, 19th, and 20th event for 2022 will be, We Too Gave Our All, a tribute to women in the military and the home front. This will be held at the Southwest Regional Airport. Lest We Forget has published five books with over 300 veteran stories. Produced concerts for Veterans Day. They've traveled. They have ta a traveling library display. They've created healing and honor fields of flags for the Senior PGA Championship and the Southwest Michigan Regional Airport. And they participate in parades in Berrien County and so many more activities. This particular parade unit is led by a restored World War II Jeep. And the float is pulled by an army weasel, which carries our veterans and patriots. And behind the float is a Vietnam-era army mule. Look at this. Look and at all the kids. I know. They're having such a great time. How cool are those planes? Just a fantastic thing they're doing. And the really cool part about this is because they focus so much on veterans and their stories, you see all the kids taking part, and I'm sure they know exactly why they are there. All right. And now, next up is Congressman Fred Upton, representing Michigan's 6th District. Representative Upton was born and raised in this community. And he has proudly represented the southwest corner of Michigan for over three decades in the U.S. Congress. As co-chair of the Problem Solver Caucus, Fred is a leading advocate for civility and forging consensus in common ground. His signature issue is the bipartisan 21st Century Cures Bill to speed up treatments and cures for cancer and other devastating diseases. And look behind him. All the flags, all the sights and sounds, the Vikings are in the house. This is a 100-person band led by drum majors Landon Bird, Ashton Burroughs, and Ansley McIntosh. There are six color guard members here. This is the Niles High School marching band, and they are wearing their uniforms, which are Vegas gold and navy blue, and they are playing Never Gonna Give You Up, arranged by Matt Conaway. Let's listen. Circus brings a fresh twist on a circus fantasy. Look at the colors, just beautiful. Listen to the carousel music. Notice its horses as they pass you by. They are all decked out. Bedazzled. You gotta love when you get a hold of a bedazzler. You just gotta, you know, put it all over your float. <laughs> this is a sparkly one. Even the carousel's tool canopy reflects springtime hues as it flutters in the wind. Little Miss Niles and her court have front row seat on the benches designed with a flare. Behind them, the junior teen and teen courts are enthusiastically waving to the crowd. 
Miss Niles and her court in order to oversee its activities are perched on varying heights of the pastel. Harlequin decorated pedestals above them floats the big top complete with pendants. That is gorgeous. I love to see that. And everybody's so happy too. So much more to see here just ahead. You are watching the WSBT. You are watching the 2022 Blossom Time Festival Grand Floral Parade. Are you tired of the colors in your home? We have a process that makes painting your home or business easy. See for yourself and give us a call or check us out on our website at ChrisbanCustomPainting.com. Your senior portrait experience should be as unique as you are. And with Katrina Jackson Photography, it's a full-blown senior experience. From the pre-booking Zoom conference to the in-person style consultation to ensure they capture your charm and personality. Katrina Jackson Photography works with a team of professional hair and makeup artists the day of your photo shoot to help keep your day stress-free. You deserve to look your absolute best for your senior pictures. Schedule your free Zoom consultation today at KatrinaJackson.com. Hey, I didn't know there was a grocery store in Bell Plaza. Looks pretty small. Let's check it out. Dang, it's bigger than I thought in here. Yeah, lots bigger. Lush Lighting is a full-service garden center with everything you need to grow strong, healthy plants indoors. The best soils, nutrition, and equipment for fruits, veggies, medicinal herbs, and flowers. Plus all the great advice you've been looking for. Oh, hey, I want to grab a shirt before we head out. There's even a fun clothing line, too. Lush Lighting, just north of the state line in Bell Plaza. Tired of the colors in your home, but don't know where to start? We have a process that makes painting your home or business easy. From the free estimate to the final walkthrough, we're a team you can trust to make your home only better. See for yourself by giving us a call or checking out our website at chrismancustompainting.com. Things could be stranger, but I don't know how. Changes now. Could spend a lifetime trying to figure it out. I'm going through changes now that have just begun. Under a purple sun, there's many reasons we are what we've become. I'm going through changes now. could be different, but I don't know how. I'm going through changes, through all of the strangeness. I'm going through changes now. The Baxter Family Survival Guide. Dad, you taught us to be self-sufficient. And yet, you're all still here. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. If you want money, maybe you should do what other people do. Get my own reality show. Dad, I'm trying. Last Man Standing. Weeknights at 7 on Fox Michiana. And welcome back to the Blossom Time Festival Grand Floral Parade. You're watching on WSBT. And look at this. The Bud Prince and Princess and Junior Teen Blossom Time Royalty and Contestants. What a float this is. It's always a favorite in the parade. It's the Blossom Time sponsored Bud Prince. And this shimmery patriotic float is carrying lots of royalty, including but not limited to Bud Princess Lexington Schultz of St. Joseph, Bud Prince Gibson Jacobs of Coloma, and then some on the court, we have Kaylin uh, Gates, Cameron Johns, Emberly Russell, and Branch Jarvis. Looking good. Everybody's looking great on that float. Yeah, they do. And we have our honorary Grand Marshal Larry Wozniak. Before the parade started, we spoke with him about the Lest We Forget organization. Here's what he had to say. Well, Don Allsbro, who founded the group in 2006, uh, it was his mission. His wife was a teacher. He realized, you know, that what, was, what wasn't being told in the schools. And back the very first thing they did was they had several World War II veterans who told their story and they, they, they videotaped it. And Don, uh, Tom Brokaw from the NBC News actually introduced the video and talked about Let's Forget. And then that video was shared all over the United States and even did live uh, classroom sessions with, with different schools all over the country. Here's our Bering in Springs High School band. We have drum majors Lauren Gates and Clay Rasky leading the marching shamrocks to high hopes by Panic at the Disco while the eight color guard members dance perfectly in sync wearing black uniforms with green sashes. This award-winning marching band proudly sports the shamrock logo on their coats. Let's take a listen.
the greatest show on stilts, and it is the Board of Directors Award headed our way. Here comes the community of Berrien Springs being towed by a circus clown car complete with a clown face, bow tie, and polka dot car body. The float depicts the greatest show on stilts with three stilt walkers as the main attraction. The front of the float begins with the ringmaster and is followed up by the main attractions. There's a juggling jester on stilts and a juggling clown on stilts while a patriotic Uncle Sam stilt walker waves an American flag toward the rear of the float. The center of the float features the main ring of the circus where Miss Berry and Springs Royalty is located. The rear of the float features two seals that are spinning balls on their noses while a bear balances on a ball. There's a lot going on on this float. Absolutely. As it makes its way to where our cameras are. The float features flower arrangements that you'll see here, and there's a lot of greenery, but a lot of moving parts, as you see. And really, it all ties in so well. I mean, everything I have said just talked about the circus theme. There it is, the greatest show. It is. And you know what the interesting note about these floats? Most of their design and their construction, it's a labor of love. Yes, few, it is. Few built by professionals. They're built by families, community members working together to create the beautiful displays we have enjoyed so far today. Yeah. Members of the Michiana Clowns have been longtime supporters of the Grand Floral Parade. And today is no exception. Look at the faces in the, in the young crowd. Young and old, really, truly enjoying this. Colorful costumes, their playful antics. Michiana Clowns, home base, by the way, is in Michigan City, Indiana. But they have members from Baroda. There you hear the cheering. <laughs> so happy to see these clowns today. Well, the Bourne Trophy, Alfred, is sponsored by the PGA of America. The Alfred S. Bourne Trophy, one of the largest in golf, is a hefty 36 pounds. That's a big trophy, measuring 18 inches wide and stands 42 inches tall. It's the centerpiece of a championship that preceded the birth of the Champions Tour by 43 years. Alfred Bourne, a man who left an imprint upon golf history behind the scenes, and his name on the trophy presented to the CGA PGA Championship was quite the philanthropist. You know, while we were in commercial break, we want to show you what... Um, you missed because we don't want you to miss anything we don't talk about bruno you've heard that song it's a big favorite in my house um well here you go this is in canto released in november 2021 it's new it's in canto disney's most famous recent animated feature film and there you go this is this is the the float for that very cool and check out these cars right these are pretty cool antique cars from 1934 a california kid coupe the 1934 Roadster, that's the one you see in the yellow. The flamed 1934 Ford that starred alongside Martin Sheen. And the California Kid is about one of the most iconic movie cars ever to have graced television screens. And of course, the Ford Roadster, what a showpiece. So thank you to the owner of this blazing beauty, Henry Braddock. Very cool. The Plymouth Fife and Drum Corps is an all-youth musical ensemble from Plymouth, Michigan. And the Corps is, is dedicated to preserving our nation's musical heritage through live performances of music from the 18th and 19th centuries. How cool is this to see them today? With an emphasis on music played during the Revolutionary War, the Corps is historically accurate, not just in their music, but also you see the flags, you see the military implements, the handmade wooden fifes, the drums, all crafted using traditional rope tension construction. This year they're playing Yankee Doodle, 1st of September, and the Duke of York's March. So let's listen and see what we can hear.
sometime royalty. It would be the community queens. This next listening float hosts royalty from several communities, including Miss Hart, Taylor Palmer of Dwajak, Mr. Hart, Artemio Garcia Jr. of Papa, first runner-up Abigail Voss of Marcellus, Miss Bloomingdale, Gabby Bell, Miss Cassopolis, Rebecca Reininger, Miss Teen Blossom Time, Leah Seawood of Benton Harbor, First runner-up, Peyton Mooney of Stevensville. Second runner-up, Aria Evans of Marcellus. And Miss Congeniality, Arable Mills from Benton Harbor. They look fantastic. Look at that float, too. Very stunning. They have their waves down, big smiles. Crowd so happy to see them. Heroes in a half shell. How many kids are happy to see these guys? We have turtle power with us today. Raphael Leonardo riding in a Jeep courtesy of Siemens and Bridgman. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles riding in the parade today. These guys used to be it back in the day. Absolutely. And have made such a comeback. I know. It's almost like they never left. <laughs> our favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is the Michigan Lutheran High School Band. Shannon Eggers directs the small but mighty Michigan Lutheran High School Marching Band with 25 enthusiastic members. They're rocking out today with Respect by Aretha Franklin. Arrangement by Johnny Vinson. Michigan Lutheran High School has been providing Christian education to our community for over 50 years and are happy to once again be participating in the Grand Floral Parade. This group is up to some serious monkey business. Joined by his favorite safari friends, Jake the Circus Monkey has returned to visit his family in the jungle. You see him? Kind of swinging from the trees here. This is the community of South Haven, and their title is Monkey Business. The towering trees lead to a canopy filled with wildlife and brightly colored flowers, while the base of the jungle floor is filled with assorted live plants, from wild monkeys swinging in the trees to calm butterflies flapping their wings, and the South Haven court waving to you. This jungle is filled with endless beauty. They've done a nice job with this float. Yes, the details. Very pretty. Lots more coming up. More floats, more bands, a lot more to see here. You are watching the Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade on WSBT 22. I really enjoyed working with the staff at, at Klein Custom Homes. They were really accommodating with my schedule. They were very patient with the decision-making process, and they just were very friendly. My favorite part of the building process was customizing every piece of each detail in the house. Larry Klein did a great job of customizing my closet, and he created a custom closet for my shoes and my heels, so I'm really excited to fill that space up. I would absolutely build with Klein Custom Homes again. Everyone that has come to visit my, my new home has been really impressed. Camden Appliance has the appliances you need when you need them. Imagine home-cooked meals on your new range or super clean dishes from your new dishwasher. Let the appliance pros at Camden help you pick out exactly what you're looking for. Washers, dryers, refrigerators, and microwaves. All the top brands in stock and ready for delivery. And you'll always save big on scratch and dent and close out appliances. Shop in-store or shop online to see the full inventory. Camden Appliance, just north of the state line on South 11th Street in Niles or US 12 in Edwardsburg. Selection, service, and trust. That's what makes Campbell Ford Lincoln your choice for more than 35 years. Winner of the 2019 Consumer Satisfaction Award. You'll find a vast selection of the latest Ford trucks, cars, and SUVs. Luxury customers enjoy personalized service when shopping the full line of Lincoln vehicles. And for any budget, choose from many used and certified pre-owned vehicles. Conveniently located in Niles and serving all of Michigan. Visit us online and come see us at Campbell Ford Lincoln. The best bottom line is at the state line. I feel like, like her heartbeat. 
speed is like same speed as mine and i think we have this like deep connection this heart connection in her heart that there's there's room for me and mom when i'm holding her it makes me feel calmer it's a sensory thing it's a thing with asperger's she's really good with anya I've seen adults react to my daughter when she has meltdowns, like she's from a different planet. And this little animal just sat next to my child and was just like, you know, it's gonna be cool. She's my superhero. Good job, kid. When we adopted Lucky, we discovered all the wonderful things that make her unique. Lucky's a little bit of a lot of things, but mostly she's pure love. Modern Family, there are big laughs, nervous laughs, crazy laughs, live, love, laugh, Modern Family Nightly, weekdays at 6 on Fox Michiana. Welcome back to the Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade. This is Eau Claire High School's marching band. I hear I get around by Brian Wilson and Mike Love, arranged by Paul Murtha. Uh, we have all kinds of fantastic bands we've been hearing today. Under the direction of Mark Hartman, this band received an excellent rating at Michigan Band and Orchestra Festival. Sixth place at Lakeshore Marching Invitational. Sixth place at East Kentwood Invitational. And third place for music and marching and a tour for the performance of the Field Museum in Chicago. So I would say it's been a great year for the Eau Claire High School Marching Band. These bands are all sounding so great today. And here you see the Queen's Award. The community of Eau Claire presents the human cannon today. Being pulled by a cart of circus animals, you'll find a large human cannon shooting the daredevil through the ring of fire. To either side of the human cannon, you're going to find a seal and an elephant balancing on tubs. And not only are they balancing, but they're also shooting real water out of their mouth and trunk. In the back of the float, you'll find a carousel where our little littles are actually courting and riding along. You're going to find a lion, an elephant, and a rhino on the carousel, as well as a hand-painted mural, which features an audience out looking trape a trapeze artist. This is very cool. Did you see the dog? The dog, yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a lion. It's, it's a, a lion. It's a lion. There it's we very, go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I well, like it. Here's our honorary Grand Marshal, Phil McDonald. He is a graduate of Lake Michigan Catholic High School. He is getting some big cheers right now. After graduating from Albion, he started working for WSJM and WIRX Radio, where he served as sports director and on-air personality for 36 years. Phil stepped away from his full-time position at the radio stations to become athletic director at Lake Michigan Catholic High School now our Lady of the Lake Catholic High School. While overseeing the school's athletic department, he's still occasionally on the radio hosting the Saturday Morning Coaches Show. Look who it is. It is AEP's Louis the Lightning Bug. Of course, the spokes bug for American Electric Power, the parent company of Indiana, Michigan Power. Louis is the mascot for children's electrical safety. Also helps to teach kids and their parents about conserving energy. Very popular guy or bug around town. <laughs> Indiana, Michigan Power is proud to support the Blossom Time Festival. And we're active partners, volunteers, and donors. And very committed to powering the next community initiative. And check out this float. Here comes the community of Baroda. It's the High Wire Act. Hailing from the beautiful community of Baroda, here are the breathtaking Baroda Bells, temptress of the tightrope, featuring amazing feats at high wider heights among fields of spring flowers. The Baroda Bells include some, like Miss Baroda 22, Hannah Wagner, first runner-up in Miss Congeniality, Ella Vogelsanger, and second runner-up, Gabby Parker. The detail of this flow, from the ticket box to just the tightrope or the high wire, it's, it's pretty awesome to see. Yeah, it's fantastic. They've all done such a nice job. Here is the Lakeshore High School Marching Band. 110 students representing this band, 16 color guards, and they just look fantastic. They are performing the horse. You may notice one drum major is missing. That's because Nate Hawks has a very important job today. He is our 2022 Mr. Blossom Time, so let's listen in.
here's another awesome float to check out. The red and gold big top is the highlight of this Stevensville float. Animated characters along the sides add some movement and look. It's called juggling under the big top. The animals seem to be juggling and dancing to the music of all of our favorite circles or circus songs. And the Stevensville float also has live flowers, sponsored by Heartland's Garden, Garden Center. Additional float sponsors include Discover Stevensville, Richard Nargan, and Fiji Films. I love all the animals on the I side. Know, they're all dancing. <laughs> How they get these moving parts and everything to look so buttoned up, I don't know. Well, here's the 1966 Ford Thunderbird. Gorgeous antique car. It's a fourth generation of the Ford Thunderbird. It's a very large personal luxury car produced by Ford for the 1964 to 1966 model years. This generation of the Thunderbird was restyled in favor of a more squared off kind of formal look. Oh, look, no hands. <laughs> <laughs> but the only remnant of the Thunderbird's former sporty image was the fact that the standard 390 cubic inch, 300 horsepower V8 engine needed nearly 11 seconds to push that very heavy T-Bird to 60 miles an hour. That's pretty cool. And of course, the Berrien County Shrine Club and Transport Van. And what a great, great looking float there. The Shriners have entered their float in the Blossom Time Parade for more than a decade. They're always a welcome sight. As you see, I'm just kind of moseying around. The Shriners' appearances in local parades and festivals help promote and spread the word about their children's hospital and the medical care provided to children, regardless of race, religion, or ability to pay. Yeah, such good work that they do. You seem to be having a good time out here. Mm -hmm. And the weather's still holding out, so I this know. is great. It's great. Formed in 1968, this group now has 22 members, of which they are usually 9 to 10 riders in a parade. Members purchase their own bikes and uniforms. They're responsible for the maintenance and transporting them to and from parades. They participate in approximately 15 parades through the summer, have many trophies, monetary donations. So, yeah, great work. 1964 Fairline Thunderbolt and a 1962 Studebaker Lark. That's what you're looking at. Of course, owner Henry Braddock, the 1964 Fairline Thunderbolt is a limited production. These are such cool cars to see. Only a total of 100 were produced. So you're seeing one of 100, and that's it. Joined by a 1962 Studebaker Lark II built locally in Indiana. So, of course, thank you to Henry Braddock who provided these stunners today. They're getting a lot of eyes on them. Pretty cool thing to see. Yeah, it's very, 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 very cool. All right. Community of Coloma swinging on the trapeze. I'm, I'm one ahead. Sorry, we can't miss the marching band. We do not want to miss Coloma. Coloma's high school marching band marching to the beats of 25, also known as 6 to 4 by Chicago and the Coloma Fight Song. They received a Division I rating. And uh, the work that they do is incredible here. You may have noticed they're down one drum major because she is Miss Coloma. She's on the floor behind the band, the one that I was almost skipping ahead to. So we're going to get to that in just a minute. But let's listen to the work that they do. talking about this. Here it is, the community of Coloma swinging on the trapeze. Watch as they float through the air with the greatest of ease. Those beautiful folks on the flying trapeze. And they'll try to complete their routine high in the air as Miss Coloma and her court look on to win with the big top in view. Of course, Isabella Greenman, Miss Coloma 2022. Ariana Torres is the first runner-up in Miss Congeniality. Chloe Williams is the second runner-up. And of course, missing from this float is Mr. Coloma. Wesley Seabury, who is riding on the Blossom Time float as the second runner-up to Mr. Blossom Time 2022. State Representative Pauline Wenzel is right there. There you see her. She was first elected to the Michigan House of Representatives in November 2018, and she represents the 79th District, which includes part of Berrien County, that includes the cities of Coloma, St. Joseph, Benton Harbor, Bridgman, and Watervliet, as well as the townships of Bainbridge, Benton, Coloma, 
Hagar, Lake Charter, Lincoln, Royalton, St. Joseph, and Waterfleet. She's a lifelong Waterfleet resident from a very proud fourth-generation Bainbridge Township farming family. So happy to have her along with us here today. Check out this cool entry heading our way. You heard people yelling for him. It's Sam and the Giant Wheel. Sam is originally from Ethiopia and moved to the United States when he was just 15. Check him out and what he can do here. I mean, <laughs> right? The crowd just How do you even train it. for something I, like this? I don't know. You ask your parents and they say, I guess go for it. At the age of 16, he was introduced to the circus life and has been involved ever since. Look at him go. A crowd favorite for sure. That's incredible. You know, we really couldn't put this on today without the help of our television sponsors. So we want to give a big thank you to Anderson, Augustino, and Keller, Camden's Appliances, Campbell Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, Chrisman Custom Painting, Cornerstone Alliance, Crystal Springs Florist, and Garden Center as well. And also a big thank you to Fagley Landscape, Katrina Jackson Photography, Klein Custom Homes, Lake Michigan College, Lush Lighting, Lions Industries, and St. Joseph Today. The talent coming down the parade route is just incredible. The flips, the tricks, the don't try this at home, right? It's all coming at you right now. Have you ever tried to juggle? You know, nothing like, no, not bowling pins or pins. Um, <laughs> I just, just children. That's about all I've gotten That's so right. far. Your schedule at home. <laughs> No, it's just so nice to see this gathering after taking this off, you know, due to the pandemic for two right. years. To see the crowd so excited, the weather holding off with these gray skies. For those of you not here, the clouds have been gray for quite some time, but not a raindrop. You know, we're going to keep our fingers crossed. I mean, just but look at the town, right? We need these, these events back. We need the community events back. And it's just so nice to see the smiles. Everybody genuinely looks like they're having a good time today. It's like they're all just sighing, you know, relief, saying, finally. Yeah. I mean, this is this is tradition, and it, it, it we were talking earlier today, it is spring, and it, it truly does begin the kickoff for some of the summer traditions around the St. Joseph Benton Harbor community, so... We are here, and this is what what it is, what it is all about. Right. I mean, for it's this exciting. Community. Lake Michigan right here, just bringing together Benton Harbor, St. Joseph. It's great. Well, of course, Berry and Springs Pickle Festival, Grand uh, Dilly Meister Martin Rudolph. The Berry and Springs Festival made a return in 2021. And, of course, the Grand Dilly Meister is the face of the festival and was nominated and voted on by the public. And this what year's is Marty Rudlaff. So fun. How about this? We have a 1929 Ford Model A, and this one is sponsored by Journeyman Distillery. Really cool antique vehicle. We've seen so many of these today. Not particularly this one, but lots of antique vehicles. Um, Journeyman, if you're not familiar with it, is a distillery. That, it's an organic spirits distillery located in Three Oaks, Michigan, where they produce their full line of spirits in the E.K. Warren historic Featherbone factory. So um, really cool vehicles to see here. And so we thank them for providing that. And coming up next, this is Senator Eric Nesbitt. In 2018, Eric was elected to the state Senate to represent the people of Allegan and Van Buren counties, along with Gaines Township and the city of Kentwood in Kent County. He currently serves as Senate President Pro Tempore, Chair of the Senate Committee on Regulatory Reform, Advice and Consent, and the Chair of the Licensing and Regulatory Affairs Appropriation Subcommittee. Eric lives in Van Buren County with his wife, Tricia, and their children, Catherine and William. We have another band heading our way. You can hear it already, and boy, do they sound good. This is Our Lady of the Lake Catholic High School. The Lakers are marching in their sharp blue and white plaid uniforms today. 
This band always does a nice job. They are a Division I rating at the festival. Lake Michigan Catholic School's motto is nourishing the human spirit, mind, body, and soul through Jesus Christ. So let's take a listen to what they are bringing us today at the festival. and florals to incorporate our horseback rider theme and showcase the floral beauty of Blossom Time. Our honorary Grand Marshal Karen Klug. Karen was born in Niles, raised in Berrien Springs. The Berrien County Youth Fair has always been a part of her life because her mom became secretary of the board of directors when she was five years old. Her first job was painting projects at the fairgrounds. Karen graduated from Berrien Springs High School and Western Michigan University with an accounting major. And after 13 years in public accounting, she returned to the Berrien County Youth Fair as their executive director. In 2005, Karen joined her husband in his family business, but she was elected to the Berrien County Youth Fair Board of Directors and then was elected as secretary. And here is the Boys and Girls Club of America Youth of the Year State of Michigan. Donovan Frazier of Benton Harbor. Donovan was named Michigan Youth of the Year by the Boys and Girls Club. It's the organization's Youth of the Year for, of course, the city of Benton Harbor. He's a 17-year-old senior at Eau Claire and a 4.0 student. Good for you, Donovan. All right, here we have Myla Jackson named the St. Joseph Youth of the Year. Jackson represented the Boys and Girls Clubs of St. Joseph High School campus in the organization's club-wide competition held on February 24th of 2022. And South Haven High School freshman Yoseling Cortez is the South Haven Youth of the Year. She represented the Boys and Girls Club South Haven High School campus during the organization's club-wide competition. And the Watervliet High School marching band. They're singing uh, the familiar tunes of Crazy in Love by Beyonce, drum majors uh, Nadia Kuczynski, Jacob Schaefer, and Lydia Koshar are conducting the Waterfleet High School Marching Band. Looking pretty good, too, in their maroon and white uniforms. They have 45 marching Panthers, six color guard members. Let's listen in. is from the community of Water Valit, and its theme is Ribbon Girl. The center of the float will be rotating rings and ribbons that the Ribbon Girl would use during her performance of the circus. In front of the rings, Water Valit's Little Miss Firecracker is awaiting her performance as the Red Ribbon Girl. Little Mr. Firecracker is selling tickets to her show. The front of the float contains two large popcorn buckets with overflowing popcorn, of course, a circus favorite. Cannons blowing bubbles adorn each side of the float with Edward the Elephant and Wesley the Lion. And of course, riding on the float, Hannah Hart, Miss Water Valite, and Connor Underwood, Miss Wa Mr. Water Valite, with the rest of their court. And they got the Twin Cities Awards, so congratulations to them. That looks fantastic. A lot of work went into that. Yes, it is. I mean, you can't probably tell the scale of it at home, but this is one of the, the largest floats, I think, that we have seen just lengthwise. Yeah. I like the detail. Yeah. How do you make popcorn like that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's your lion. You have to love it. So much work. They all look great. Nice job. It is hard to probably see some of the detail that goes into some of these floats. 
and I really would like to know how long they work on <laughs> right. on some of these projects. It's incredible. It really is. Yeah. We have dragon boat racing, too, up ahead here. Look at this. This is sponsored by South Haven Area Water and Sports Club. It, it was created for people looking to get into water sports or looking to team up for some of the other region events. This group is involved in dragon boats, paddle boarding, kayaking, or sailing, but they say if it floats, they are probably interested in it. And they're <laughs> just kind of encouraging people to get some exercise and socialize. All right, more fun to see here. This wow. is a die cycle. It's one of the very unique cycles from Cirque Among Us from Livonia, Michigan. This is a unique circus arts education enrichment tool. You wonder how that cycle works. But we like it. Or where you keep it. I don't know. <laughs> that is it a looks pretty fun. It does. Looks a lot, maybe a little bit easier than the one we saw before. <laughs> yeah. And we have the Boy Scouts of Southwest Michigan with us today. The Scouting Boy Scouts of America troop members represent units from southwest michigan with members ranging in ages from 11 to 18 today they're joined by their leaders some of these troops have been in operation for 75 years and they come from towns all around the area the scouting program has been in operation for 109 years and these troops provide so many different service projects to the community they earn merit badges covering 137 different topics and these youngsters are learning to be good citizens, and then they will eventually, of course, be future leaders. Today, we have gentlemen from troops 696, 603, 614, 623, and 624. And here they are from Three Oaks, Michigan, the Marching Mustangs heading our way, 29 members. They're going to be playing the Macarena. Now, here's this. They are award-winning. They received first at both the band festival and district band and orchestra festival. Festival. They also took second place at the Vicksburg Marching Band Invitational. You can tell they sound pretty good. This next float received the Mayor's Award, as you can see here. This is the community of Three Oaks River Valley, and it is titled Uniquely Circus. It's really a circus extravaganza if you take a look at it. They have a unicycle featuring galloping horses pulling the performers. And take a good look at this because there's so much to see on it. The ringmaster is right out front. The unicycle is prepped for the bravest act of the show. And then they have clowns. There's a lot. I mean, it's, it's a lot going on here. Royalty. <laughs> but it's just done so well. It's not, you know, it's not busy. It's just done right. so well. All right. And, of course, we have a queen bee here. This is so fun. This busy bee comes to the parade today from the pollinator pollinators of Indian Hills Garden Club, located in the southwest corner of Michigan. The club is a group of about 40 people in and around St. Joseph, Michigan, with common interests in gardening. They aim to further gardening knowledge by providing the education, resources, and network opportunities for their members and community. We have the Buchanan High School Band. This is a marching band here to entertain us. They're made up of 54 talented musicians. They have six color guard members. And they're about ready to start to play here. We're talking about proud tradition and excellence here with their school and community. They received a Division I rating at the festival and have qualified for state finals since 2017. Let's listen. All right, and now we have what you can see here. Yes, the community of Buchanan, beauty under the sea. The sun is setting, the day is done, and it's the perfect time for mermaids to come out and swim amongst the creatures of the sea, including her friendly neighborhood shark. Being pulled by the underwater home of fish and mermaids, Buchanan's float depicts the exquisiteness of our oceans and the creatures that live within, including the most beautiful of all underwater creatures, a mermaid. And she is accompanied by tropical fish and her protector shark. I would say that shark looks like it could protect you, that's for sure. 
I could never be the judge on all of these. No. They have a really tough job. And just how unique everybody's ideas are. Same same theme, but they're all yeah. just done so differently. All right, we have a costume character here, Splash. This is sponsored by Silver Beach Center. Splash is the mascot for the Silver Beach Center, by the way. It's home to Silver Beach Carousel, which is such a favorite and destination for so many people. It's also for the Shadowland Ballroom and the Curious Kids Discovery Zone. Splash is riding in a car courtesy of Siemens in Bridgman. So a big hello to Splash today. And behind Splash, we have Bobby Backward, Robert Rosenthal of Scott, Michigan, riding 40 consecutive years. Bobby Rosenthal of Scotts, Michigan is still riding backwards, just riding backwards down the street after, of course, all of these years in the Grand Floral Parade. It doesn't look like he's ever going to grow up, even though several of his children and grandchildren, also known as Freddie Flip Flop and Susie Somersault, have performed with him over the years and have now outgrown. Bobby and his bike, so now for the past couple of years, he just keeps performing solo. So everybody else did it. They outgrew it, but Bobby's like, I'm just going to keep going backwards. And making it look so easy, too. <laughs> How does he do that? I don't know. Just such, you know, it's just everything about this. There's just so much excitement. <laughs> You're seeing all of, I mean, been here 38 years yeah. doing this. Had to come back after two years off. This has been great. Yeah, we're so glad that he did, too. And the Bears head coach, Tyler Mazel was named Coach of the Year for St. Joseph Wrestling after leading St. Joseph to the Division II state quarterfinals. As head coach for the St. Joseph Bears, uh, Mazel guided them to a 25-9 record. That's a pretty great record. And their first ever regional wrestling team championship. So congratulations, Taylor, and of course, to all of St. Joseph Wrestling. That's pretty awesome. All right, and we have Nolan Wardenen, a senior at St. Joseph High School, three-time state wrestling champion. Nolan has a long list of accomplishments in his four years as a Bear, just to name some of them. And Berrien County Youth Fair Royalty, of course. Our royalty contest kicks off Fair Week starting on Friday night. Our court then participates all week long from sunup to sundown with TV and radio interviews. They stop, you know, we've seen them making trips all throughout, handing out awards, meeting coaches and young exhibitors. We have retired firefighter Joseph Mitchell and his wife Peggy. They've donated this 1937 American Le France pumper truck to the St. Joseph Fire Department. How cool and is that to see? That's pretty great. And of course, we have another band for you. This is the Spirit of Bridgman marching band. And join us in welcoming Bridgman High School, led by band director Cliff Rippart. It's a 72 member band. This is a big band, you guys. And they sound great. They received Division I ratings at Marching Band Festival in first place at Lakeshore and Grand Haven Marching Invitationals. with his talented sideshow. Symbol playing monkey riding on his shoulder. If you take a good look, you can see that. Wow. Lots of creativity <laughs> so in this float. We have uh, Zozo the zebra, Sophie the giraffe, the tutu, the tiger, who jumps through that terrifying ring of fire as we just saw a moment ago. I love how they named all the animals on the float, right. too. I'm sure they became so close with this float <laughs> building it. And now we have Honorary Grand Marshal Sheriff Daniel Abbott, who is the Sheriff of Van Buren County, nominee for the 2019 National Sheriff of the Year. He has been a lifelong resident of Van Buren County. He has brought several changes to Van Buren County Sheriff's Office. Some of the major accomplishments in Sheriff Abbott's career have been life-saving awards, the first Van Buren County Deputy to receive Deputy of the Year, recognized by Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, and most recently being nominated to be National Sheriff of the Year. 
right, and while we were in, in a commercial break, we want to show you what you missed. This is Honorary Grand Marshal Todd Kubisak. Todd is the regional sales manager for Spink Seed Company covering Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio. Todd lives in Lawrence, Michigan, where he's also a farmer. He's been involved in the Blossom Time program since 2008, working with the annual farm tour. Todd served on the Van Buren County Farm Bureau for 20 years, 18 of them as president. And here's the Bearcat Tactical Response Unit, sponsored by sponsored by the Berrien County Sheriff's Department. So we do want to shout out and say a big thank you to the Berrien County Sheriff's Department for sponsoring this Bearcat Tactical Response Unit. You know, we could not put this on without the help of our television sponsors. And we give a big thank you to those sponsors now. Anderson, Agostino & Keller, Camden's Appliances, Campbell Ford, Lincoln Mercury, Chrisman Custom Painting, Cornerstone Alliance, Crystal Springs Florist, and Garden Center. Also to Fagley Landscape, Katrina Jackson Photography, Klein Custom Homes, Lake Michigan College, Lush Lighting, Lions Industries, and St. Joseph Today. We have Deuce and a Half owner Garrett Hesser here with an antique vehicle. This is a really cool vehicle to see here. You don't see these very often. It's a M35 two and a half ton cargo truck, long lived two and a half ton, six by six cargo truck, initially used by the United States Army, subsequently utilized by many nations around the world. Over time, it evolved into a family of specialized vehicles, inherited the nickname Deuce and a Half from an older two and a half ton truck the World War II. And here's Franny the Fusion Hippo, sponsored by Fusion Center for Dance. Fusion Center for Dance provides quality instruction to dancers of all ages and abilities. They also offer a competitive experience for those dancers looking to take their skills to the next level. So welcome to the parade, Franny. I love your tutu. You look fantastic. She's adorable. Yes. All right. The community of Bangor Strongman is the name of this float. I love this. This is so great. The community may be small, but it is certainly strong in diversity and culture and now inviting you to join them for a day of fun and adventure. Look at what they've done here. Is that a, not a fantastic mustache? It's so good. The ticket booth will be open at 5 p.m. to purchase your ticket to one of the greatest communities in southwest Michigan, Bangor, known for apples, pickles, trains, everything in between. What they have going on here on this float is pretty creative. And yeah, motoring through our parade route today are several antique vehicles from owner Henry Braddock's collection. The 2012 State Police Dodge Charger has been retired as a police car, but it was the fastest one in its field at the time it was produced. And then we have the 1983 Buick 20 225 convertible as well. All right. Take a look at what we have here. This is Slappy, K-Wings Slappy. The sponsor is Kalamazoo Wings Hockey. So it's Kalamazoo Wings as a professional um, ECHL competitors and the proud AA affiliates of the National Hockey Leagues, and Columbus here, Blue Jackets. Here we go, Dwajak High School. This comes your marching band, and you're looking sharp today in their black and orange uniforms. Director Marissa Boyton is leading this talented 25-member marching band to, of course, twist and shout. And you can see everybody along, of course, the parade route, dancing along with them. They received a superior rating at the MSBOA and District 6 Marching Band Festival. Edwardsburg's float celebrating the greatest show featuring the fortune teller on this float. Look at what they've done here. This is very cool. Edwardsburg has their royalty up high under the big top, kind of overlooking the fortune teller as he predicts the future is bright for Edwardsburg royalty of 2022. Beautiful float and behind it some beautiful cars. A 1940 Cadillac representing the final flourish for the Marquis' traditional classic era styling. Joined by a Ford Coupe convertible which was the first full-size Ford designed after World War II. The nickname given to it is the Shoebox Ford. So thank you, of course, again, Henry Braddock, for donating such beautiful cars to the parade. Those are stunning. Mm -hmm. The colors alone. Mm -hmm. 
Miss Southwest Michigan and Miss Southwest Outstanding Teen. We have Shelby Lentz, the current Miss Southwest Michigan. She's been competing in the Miss America organization for a decade now. And Miss Southwest Michigan's Outstanding Teen, Lauren Vetger. Ver I'm not saying this correctly. Excuse me. Vector. That's correct. She raises awareness for lupus through her platform, Living with Lupus. So, outstanding women. Absolutely. All right, so now our next float, the community of Benton Harbor. Here's your mighty tigers. The city of Benton Harbor has rich traditions, and that of being a tiger leads the charge. In keeping with Blossom Time's theme, The Greatest Show, a pictorial history of those tigers down through the years adorned this float. Just look at the detail on this float. Everybody looking fantastic. The orange and black, and there's your tigers. So, so yes, community of Benton Harbor, mighty tigers. All right, I want to take you back and show you something that you missed when we were in a commercial break. This is the Bearcat Tactical Response Unit. We're trying to pull it up for you. Let me get you in one second here. And there you go. And there you see it. It is sponsored by Berrien County Sheriff's Department. So a big thank you to the Berrien County Sheriff's Department for sponsoring this Bearcat Tactical Response Unit. That is something you don't see every day. No, it is pretty cool. And then we also have uh, some more antique cars, the GT500. It's not a racing car. Looks like it, but no, there's just a few subtle differences. Its engine is the same as the one that's propelled Shelby's Fords to victory at Le Mans. Seven, seven liters in a Mustang. The early GT500 engineering prototype was the fastest car ever to lap Ford's twisty handling loop, except for the GT40s, of course. And then that same car cut a quarter mile in 13.6 seconds at 106 miles per hour. So that is just a super car for you. Yeah, we have the community of Benton Harbor's um, float. No. The Marching the Tigers, band. yes. This is a crowd favorite. They are going to be marching to Blinding Lights by the weekend, Industry Baby by Lil Nas, and Vehicle by the Ides of March. The Tigers are sporting orange and black uniforms with their signature Tiger on the back. The band is accompanied by the Flag Corps and Color Guard, and their percussion section always brings down the house. So as they make their way past our cameras, let's take a listen.
fantastic. They are. I mean, what a way to really start rounding out the end of this parade. Just so talented. So many great bands, performances, floats. This parade is something, isn't it? It is. And it was so exciting to see everybody out here, too. So excited to be a part Yeah. Of well, more just ahead, you are watching the Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade on WSB 22. Are you tired of the colors in your home? We have a process that makes painting your home or business easy. See for yourself and give us a call or check us out on our website at crispincustompainting.com. Crystal Springs Florist and Garden Center in Benton Harbor has been making Southwest Michigan beautiful. They're proud to be a third-generation family-owned and operated business. Ordering fresh flowers for someone special? Their expert staff will help you find exactly what you are looking for. Growing your own flowers? Visit Crystal Springs Garden Center. Their greenhouse is fully stocked with annuals, perennials, herbs, vegetables, and more. Crystal Springs Florist and Garden Center, 1475 Pipestone Road in Benton Harbor. Tired of the colors in your home, but don't know where to start? We have a process that makes painting your home or business easy. From the free estimate to the final walkthrough, we're a team you can trust to make your home only better. See for yourself by giving us a call or checking out our website at chrismancustompainting.com. Things could be stranger, but I don't know how. I'm going through changes now. Spend a lifetime trying to figure it out I'm going through changes now That have just begun Under a purple sun There's many reasons we are what we've become I'm going through changes now Could be different, but I don't know how. I'm going through changes, through all of the strangeness. I'm going through changes now. The Baxter Family Survival Guide. Dad, you taught us to be self-sufficient. And yet, you're all still here. Rule number one, expect the unexpected. You want money, maybe you should do what other people do. Get my own reality show. Dad, I'm trying. Rule number two, learn to adapt. You're going to use a glass, right? Fine. Hand me the big one. Rule number three, stand your ground. You know, we got married. I thought I was a smart one. <laughs> Last Man Standing, weeknights at 7 on Fox Michiana. And welcome back to the Blossom Time Festival Grand Floral Parade. The rain has held off the wind, so talk about timing. They're really starting to pick up, and we got it in. Yeah, I'm so happy that the that the rain held off for us and that the weather has been good. You know, it's nice that it hasn't been hot for everybody right. who's been a part of this parade. With the uniforms and everything else, when it's really hot, it just makes it a little bit more difficult for them. But the weather with the clouds and everything, it's been great. Yeah, yeah, everybody's been lucky there. You know, before the parade kicked off, we had a moment to sit down with Sam Abdelnour from Whirlpool to talk about what it means because it's been two years since we've been able to have this event and the tradition that's been a part of this and what it has taken to pull this off and, and put things back together for this year. A parade like this does not happen, of course, without major help from our sponsors. And the presenting sponsor of the 2022 Blossom Time Parade is, of course, the Whirlpool Corporation. Joining us now is Sam Abdelnauer from Whirlpool. Now, thank you, of course, so much for being a part of this parade again this year. Yeah, it is terrific to see this. I mean, we're talking 116 years and... We have not had this parade since 2019, right. and when you ha you have so many different things, a lot of events did not come back. They weren't able to because of the pandemic. So you look at things like that that really have struggled with the challenges of the pandemic. We're so fortunate to have this tradition back this year. What? 
kind of role did Whirlpool play in, in br being able to bring this back this year? So, uh, you know, Whirlpool has been a part of this festival from the beginning, and uh, they do so much in this community. Um, they support us in every way they can, um, not only monetarily, but uh, whatever you need, mm -hmm. they're there for you. And, and not just the Blossom Time Festival, but anything that really goes on that's for the community uh, here in the in Southwest Michigan. This, this is a big deal this year because this is such an important event for this community, for Southwest Michigan, and to not have had it for three years and not have had queens and mm -hmm. uh, kings and just the participation by the greater Southwest Michigan communities has, has been a big deal. And I saw it firsthand with the pageants this year um, and how much excitement and enthusiasm there was and, and how these kids got worked up. And then the same uh, enthusiasm is translated to getting this parade ready. And I was driving around this morning. These will be the best parade or the best uh, floats I've seen in, in maybe 15 years. I mean, That's these exciting. people went all out on these floats. Yeah. So very exciting. That's, that's fantastic. And, of course, Whirlpool being a longtime sponsor of the event. So tens of thousands of people watch this, right? If they're not coming to the streets, they're watching it from their home. Right, sure. And, you know, you have the floats like you were talking about, which apparently we're now stepping up even a little <laughs> bit more. We have the indie Drill Team. How has this become such a spectacular spectacle? What has allowed this growth to happen? You know, I think it's a commitment of not just the festival but the community. And, and you know, you think about it, uh, to see your children uh, participate, whether it's in the pageants or in, in the parade or in, in the area of community service, which the festival promotes, um, it makes families excited mm -hmm. to be a part of it. And um, as I expected, I drove down Main Street at 6 o'clock this morning. That was when people were first allowed to put blankets and chairs down, and the streets were filling up already. Yeah. And, and so it is. It's an exciting time of year. We kind of look at this as the official opening of summer mm -hmm. and kind of gets everybody going, and the festivals will start happening now. And, and so it's just an exciting time for us. Right, because this is, this is the place to be in the summer. When you're talking, oh, you know, course. Lake Michigan, right. it's, it's here. Right. Yeah. yeah. That level of excitement in, in your investment here in the community and 30 years you have in just this festival and this uh, this event. Yeah, my, my wife uh, Anna, who is the pe president of the festival, is extremely involved yeah. and uh, you know, when, when that happens uh, and somebody's passionate about something and, and eager to get involved, you kind of get just follow along mm -hmm. and, and you get caught up in the excitement and enthusiasm and I think that's what happened to me. Yeah. I, I'm I, I help out where I can. I do the things she tells me to do and, and kind of leave it at that. Yeah. Always being the supportive husband, but also just support of this parade. So, Sam, thank you again you so bet. much. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. You know, Sam talked to us about his 30 years of being involved in this particular event and so many people share similar stories like that that's right you know before again this parade we had a chance to sit down and talk to larry wozniak who's part of less we forget and for those of you who don't know much about that organization here's what he had to say all right and joining us now is honorary grand marshal larry wozniak now larry you have been a part of this parade you were telling us for quite some time that's right you're uh, uh, you're president of the lest we forget organization that's right. so i mean that's an incredible group can you tell us a little bit about what you do and why well lest we forget was formed in 2006 and the main reason then was we realized that a lot of the history in the schools was not being taught to the kids about our military experiences mm -hmm. so we wanted to focus on that so we're an educational group that's our that's our, our mission uh, we host a reenactment every year with different themes and we've written a, we've collected stories for five books of veteran stories working on book six as we speak and uh, this year our theme uh, is women in the service and we're excited because we have a, for a keynote on friday night june 17th at the mendel center shoshana johnson who was a pow in iraq in 2003 so wow. she has quite a story to oh, tell sure. and we're bringing her in and all these all these events are free to the public we we, we rely on donations and sponsors and uh, grants and things like that to keep our organization going. And what really made you come up with this idea? I mean, you gather all these veteran stories and you just put them out in the community for people to learn. Where did this come from? Well, Don Allsbro, who founded the group in 2006, uh, it was his mission. His wife was a teacher. He realized, you know, uh, that was, what wasn't being told in the schools. And in fact, the very first thing they did was they had several 
World War II veterans who told their story and they, they, they videotaped it. And Don, uh, Tom Brokaw from the NBC News actually introduced the video and talked about Let's Forget. And then that video was shared all over the United States and even did live uh, classroom sessions with, with different schools all over the country, uh, interviewing these World War II veterans and kids could actually ask them questions over the, over the speaker. So, and, so that's how it got started. And since then, we've just been moving on and trying to find ways to uh, spread the story and make sure people know mm -hmm. that you know, the freedoms we have in the United States are because of our military veterans. Absolutely. These are important stories that need to be told. Right. That's right. Yeah. It's good work that you're doing, and we're going to see you in the parade, obviously, as the honorary grand marshal, but the lest we forget float as we well. have we have a, a jeep in the parade we have a mule which replaced the army animal mule which is a, like a flatbed tractor tra we have a weasel which is a track vehicle which is pulling our float with uh, uh, veterans riding in it and then we have five planes made out of 55 gallon drums that are being pulled behind with uh, with the kids riding in the planes mm -hmm. army air force navy marines and coast guard so that's going to be a lot of fun in the parade today yeah, it's going to be great i mean you know thank you first of all for your service for keeping you know the information and the knowledge and just educating our younger generations it's something we cannot yeah. you know forget and not just underappreciate for that's what right. you guys do absolutely thank you for having me thank, thank you. you yeah thank you so many fun, beautiful, and memorable moments created today here at the festival and the parade. And as people pack up and head home, we are going to take a look back at some of the more memorable moments. You have been watching the Blossom Time Grand Floral Parade on WSBT 22. Hey, I don't know there's a grocery store in Bell Plaza. Looks pretty small. Let's check it out. Dang, it's bigger than I thought in here. Yeah, lots bigger. Lush Lighting is a full-service garden center with everything you need to grow strong, healthy plants indoors. The best soils, nutrition, and equipment for fruits, veggies, medicinal herbs, and flowers. Plus all the great advice you've been looking for. Oh, hey, I want to grab a shirt before we head out. There's even a fun clothing line, too. Lush Lighting, just north of the state line in Bell Plaza. Start your career at Lions Industries in Duwajek. Imagine working for a family-owned, family-oriented company, one that's on the cutting edge of robotics and automation. For 50 years, Lions Industries has been producing bathtubs and showers for major retail and wholesale across the U.S. and Canada. So if you're an energetic team player interested in long-term growth, get more for your time. Competitive starting wages, affordable health benefits, profit sharing, and paid holidays. Visit lionsindustries.com and submit your application online today. Your senior portrait experience should be as unique as you are. And with Katrina Jackson Photography, it's a full-blown senior experience. From the pre-booking Zoom conference to the in-person style consultation to ensure they capture your charm and personality. Katrina Jackson Photography works with a team of professional hair and makeup artists the day of your photo shoot to help keep your day stress-free. You deserve to look your absolute best for your senior pictures. Schedule your free Zoom consultation today at KatrinaJackson.com. speed is mine and I think we have this like deep connection this heart connection in her heart that there's there's room for me and mom when I'm holding her it makes me feel calmer it's a sensory thing it's a thing with Asperger's she's really good with Anya I've seen adults react to my daughter when she has meltdowns like she's from a different planet and this little animal just sat next to my child and was just like, you know, it's going to be cool. She's my superhero. The jumping kid. When we adopted Lucky, we discovered all the wonderful things that make her unique. Lucky's a little bit of a lot of things, but mostly she's pure love. You're watching WSBT 22. Got your cameras ready? Family Guy is a picture of happiness. Let's do that, yeah! A picture of respect. A lot of people like my stuff. Zero retweets, zero likes. Yeah, viral. A picture of affection. We can play charades. You mean like your marriage? I told you that in confidence. A picture of America's funniest family. Crazy. Family Guy. Viewer discretion advised. Family Guy. Weekdays at 5.30 on Fox Michiana. That's it. There you go. 
Day and the Blossom Time Festival Grand Floral Parade. It's been two years since we've been able to say that and, of course, broadcast it to you here on WSBT. And, you know, throughout the parade, it's hard to pick a favorite. There's so many elements. If it's not the floats, you know, it's just the bands. It's the excitement with the crowds. And it's just the energy that we have felt since it finally came back. I know. I love seeing the look on kids' faces mm -hmm. as things pass by. That's probably one of my favorites because it's just the energy and, and the fact that we haven't been able to do this for two years. I mean, to remind you, we don't cancel. I mean, they just right. don't cancel right. the Wasn't Blossom it World, Time Parade. World War II was the last time that this parade kind of came to a halt for a little bit. Outside of the pandemic, you right. know. 2019 was the last time. And so it was so good to see this tradition back here in this community today. And so I want to take a look back at some of our favorite moments and some of those more memorable uh, moments from the parade. Right. There were a lot. I think it's just hard, you know, to, to pick one, like we were saying, because it was such a good thing. So, yeah, taking a look back, I know we were going to show you some of these uh, coming up right now, but I don't know. I, I mean, if it wasn't the, the acts when they were, you know, on the, on the, unicycles or any of that i can't i can't i don't know it's oh. always awesome when the parade kicks off because this is this is one of the greatest yes you hear the lights and you see the sirens and um as that drill team comes through Yes, the old cars, you know, the refurbished ones, um, they make everything so neat. You have the representatives, the the Blossom Time Court. And this was a, a volunteer who was being honored today. Yes. Just really cool to see all of this and, and the smiles, the mounted police. Yes, <laughs> who, who just give so much of their time. You know, it's just so cool to see them just getting appreciated because so much volunteerism happens. Here's our court mm -hmm. looking so fantastic. Just every bit as polished as you expect them to be. Mm -hmm. And these are the parents. Right, the proud parents behind their children who were crowned Mr. and Mrs. Blossom Time. Uh, just waving to the crowd. And all but, the work they put in. Yeah, without their support. As a parent, you know what that's like. Right. So their smiles are probably just as big as their children's, if not bigger. That's right. It's just the, the behind the scenes work in all of it. All the awards that were given out throughout, that was fun to see, you know, who really picked which one and how unique it was. And oh yes, all of the beautiful, beautiful floats. I mean, the detail, the time it took to do this. And we talked through this. I don't know how the judges were able to select because everything was so good. Right. Of course, we have the mayors, the mm -hmm. representatives, right? So proud to have their cities out here on such a spotlight, waving and just seeing finally this all coming back. But yes. That's the, right. I mean, two hours went by in a flash, it felt like. Right. And you see along the sides how many people were able to come out and enjoy. And the fact that it did not rain. Even better. With the threat of rain. I know. <laughs> Today. So much pressure. But yet the old cars, I mean, just what they can do to them and the fire trucks and the bands. Mm -hmm. So many fantastic bands. Everybody sounded on point. And it's fun to hear the songs that they pick. Some of them are more recent. Others, it's like, you were nowhere near alive when these songs came out. <laughs> but they played like they grew up with them. And it was just so, so great to hear them and see them all marching together. Big, large bands and the small ones that did just as good. Yeah, you're right about that. Oh, here we go. This is Sam the Wheeler. Yes. So much fun to watch him. I think he was probably one of the crowd favorites. Just so memorable because this is not something that you see unless you're here in St. Joseph and Benton Harbor for the parade. I mean, if you do see this in your neighborhood, let us know because <laughs> we would love to cover it. I'll tell you that. This is so fun. Yeah, these, these these are just great moments. You know, and people who are real car people, you know, the ones who really know, they know what's driving down the street. That's right. You know, they're cool for everybody to see, but if you are really into cars, you know what's what's moving in front of you, and it's it's so awesome. Mm -hmm. And so we thank everybody who's been a part of the parade and who came out to enjoy it and who joined us in watching our live production today.
Yes, the, the final, the final big band that we see, of course, the mm -hmm. Tigers, Benton Harbor, closing it out. They did so great, so wonderful. But it's been a fun afternoon. It has. It's been wonderful. And we thank you for joining us and watching today with us. As always, we will be rebroadcasting the parade for those of you who were um, uh, who were here watching. Right. Or if you know anybody who would like to see it, uh, we will we will air that replay tomorrow at noon on our sister station Fox Michiana. So um, tune in then, and of course you can tune in with Jennifer and I on Monday on WSBT 22's First at Four. That's right. So thanks for spending your afternoon with us. You're watching the 2022 Blossom Time Festival Grand Floral Parade with WSBT 22's Jennifer Copeland and Abby Webler. Sponsored by Whirlpool and Lowe's, Anderson Augustino and Keller, Camden's Appliances, Campbell Ford Lincoln Mercury, Christman Custom Painting, Cornerstone Alliance, Crystal Springs Florist and Garden Center, Figley Landscape, Katrina Jackson Photography, Klein Custom Homes, Lush Lighting, Lions Industries, and St. Joseph Today. Our community needs public safety employees in all sectors. Police, 